What is going on guys, TVM here, welcome to Team of the Week Predictions, week 26. Get super cheap coins for FIFA 18 or FIFA Mobile at x3game.com in association with you FIFA. Use the code TVM for 8% discount, the link is in the description. Just a very quick note before we get started, next week and the week after, I won't be releasing Team of the Week Predictions. Reason being is I'm not here, I'm not around, not in the country, so the next episode after this one will be the 1st of April, which I believe will be week 29. The first player on our list is quite a big name considering he's on the subs bench. Lucas Fabianski of Swansea made five saves, kept a clean sheet in what was a nil-nil draw. Musa Kone up next of Dynamo Dresden got himself a hat-trick in a 3-2 win. Our first defender of week 26 is going to be Florian Klein. He got two goals and kept a clean sheet and was granted man of the match in a 4-0 win. I don't believe any Blackburn players have got informs so far this year, but we could have one here in Adam Armstrong. He's got two goals and one assist in a 3-0 win. First semi-tricky name is the Swiss Andrist. He got two goals in a 3-1 win. Quite a few defenders knocking about this week. Caracciolo up next. The Italian for Hellas Verona got one goal and was crowned man of the match in a 1-0 win. I had to really try and find room for Chris Wood. I wouldn't be surprised if they left him out. And then again, I wouldn't be surprised if he was just straight in there. Two goals, one assist and a man of the match award in what was a 3-0 win for Burnley. The Spaniard Fran Sol up next uh, for what was a bit of a, a weird game, a 5-0 battering of PSV by, I believe it's a Willem, is it Willem 2? Uh, he got a hat-trick in that game and what a result that is. Potentially one of the most useless informs in world football coming next. I mean, no disrespect to the player, but in FIFA itself, 55 pace with less than 80 defending. It's not something anyone is going to rush out to buy. Although, Sparta Rotterdam do have the potential to get what I believe would be their first inform. One goal, one assist, and a clean sheet, and a Man of the Match award in a 2-0 win for Fisher. Definitely deserves it, but I don't think anyone is going to want to use it. Now, this is a difficult one to pronounce. Nkunku, possibly, uh, has come out of a bit of the woodwork, really, because obviously PSG have Neymar, and they have Mbappe, and they have Di Maria, but this guy's just come from nowhere. Two goals, man of the match, 5-0, job done. Give me an inform. I've never really known how to say this guy's name, whether it be player or player, I'm not quite sure, but what I do know is that this guy knows where the goal is. Four goals in a 5-2 win for Nice. That is 100% a guaranteed inform, and it looks like a very nice card as well. The MLS is back in full swing, and this is the final player to feature on the reserves bench. It is Carlos Vela. Would actually be a position change as well, because he played central for the entire game for LAFC. He got one goal and one assist, and was also crowned man of the match in a 5-1 win. Into the starting lineup we go, and despite the amount of stick that Czech has got this season, he's actually done something of note. He made four saves and saved a penalty, also kept a clean sheet in what was a 3-0 win for Arsenal. Somewhat of a plethora of defenders from Italy this week. Costas Manolas is, I believe, the second on the list. The Roma player got one goal and kept a clean sheet and was also crowned man of the match in what was another 3-0 win. On what was a very emotional day for every player and fan in the Fiorentina Stadium, Vitor Hugo is potentially up for an inform. One goal and a clean sheet and yet again a Man of the Match award in what was a 1-0 win. I'm not often pressured into putting players into my Team of the Week predictions. A few people already have, have questioned me about a particular Arsenal player that I'm not putting in there and I may not even mention in the possibles. But uh, there is a Tottenham player by the name of Serge Aurier who I've kind of been pressured into putting in there but I can kind of understand where people are coming from. He got a goal and an assist in what was a 4-1 win for Tottenham. I wasn't really going to do it. I was going to maybe mention him in the possibles but now that I think, you know, he's got a one to watch. Son has only recently had an inform. I don't think they're going to give it to him. So I've got with Aurier. In the interest of trying to save a little bit of time here, I'm not going to Google this guy's name, I'm just going to guess and call him Ayob. I hope I got that right, it's kind of a cool name anyway, Yassin Ayob. Uh, the Moroccan got two goals and one assist and a man of the match award in a 5-1 win. Recently upgraded and potentially now up for an inform, however, I don't see it going higher than the Footmas version, which is 86, although I have boosted, I think it was the shooting stat, and I've lowered the defending by one, but Fabinho got one goal and a Man of the Match award in a 3-1 win for Monaco. Up next is the Italian Caliguri of Schalke. 
he managed to get himself one goal and a Man of the Match award in a 1-0 win. And normally, I wouldn't go near this guy, but I've got a, I've just got a hunch. I've got no idea why. I looked at it. He put a very good performance in. Hasn't got an inform yet. The standout goal. I'm, I'm going to go for it. And you can, uh, you can definitely quote me if, if I get this one wrong. But I've, I've got a funny feeling. I've never known how to pronounce this guy's name. I've just googled it, and apparently no one does. So I'm going to call him Hakim Zayek. Uh, the Moroccan of Ajax got two assists and a Man of the Match award in what was a 4-1 win. Uh, I think there's a left back up for grabs there as well, but I've gone with Ziek. Two path to glories in a row now. Up first, a player who I believe was robbed a few weeks ago of Rodrigo. He looks like a very nice card. A lot of people use his base card, of course, but this could be something else. The Valencia man got two goals and a Man of the Match award in a 2-0 win. If Marcus Rashford is not in this week's Team of the Week, then I will eat my left shoe. I must warn you, it's made out of cake, so it's not that much of a punishment. The England striker got two goals and a Man of the Match award in a 2-1 win over Liverpool. It's been a little while since we've seen Robert Lewandowski keeping it on the down low over there in Munich. He got himself a hat-trick this week in a 6-0 win for Bayern Munich. Into the possibles now, and rather than just build up tension towards Ronaldo, I'm just going to get it out of the way now. He's not going to get it, but I've put him in there because I just don't want to be battered in the comment section. Where's Ronaldo? He got two goals and a 2-1 win. It's not good enough. He does this every week. That's not in form. That's just Ronaldo. A player who doesn't score two goals every week, but has done this week, is Frank Ribery. He's got two goals and a Man of the Match award in a 6-0 win. I've already got Robin Lewandowski in there, and to be honest, if there were sort of lack of names, then yes, I would put Ribery in there. There is a slim chance that Daniel uh, Caliguri could miss out for Ribery. I wouldn't be complaining either, because this would be a very nice card. Don't think it would be that expensive either. Shakhtar normally win in the Ukrainian League. There's normally a couple of goals this week. It's gone to Ferreira. The Shakhtar player got two goals in a 3-0 win. I did have him in there for a large period, and then there were just other strikers who have got hat-tricks or two goals in a bigger game, so I had to bump him to the possibles. Back-to-back -back championship players up next, first of which is the Cardiff left-back Bennett. Uh, can't really see this happening, although he did get a hat-trick of assists in what was a 3-2 win for Cardiff over Birmingham, putting them in a very strong position for promotion now. But again, I don't really see it happening. Hat-trick of goals, then yes, but hat-trick of assists, possibly not. This next one's an interesting one because Madison has got himself a hat-trick in the Norwich game, but Norwich went on to lose the game four goals to three. It has happened before, uh, plenty of times. I don't think it's quite happened this season, but last season in particular, and I actually guessed it right as well. I think it was a uh, Syrian player that did it. But either way, um, because it's a, a bit of a bumper team of the week, I don't mean bumper as in like there's a lot of good players. You mean there's a lot of hat-tricks and two goals, two assists kind of thing going on. Uh, with that being the case and Championship not being favoured by EA, I can't really see him getting it, although I wouldn't be surprised, and he definitely does, despite the defeat. Although Dybala's card currently looks like this, of course it would be a 92, not a 91. I'm not quite sure on this one, I'm a bit on the fence, hence the reason why I've put him in the possible. Two goals and a Man of the Match award in a 2-0 win for Juve is definitely worthy of an inform. But whether EA will be generous, generous rather enough to give him that inform is another question because there are a lot of players in there with hat tricks and such I'm not quite sure if they would bump say for instance Marcus Rashford to fit him in and finally we have Bashwai EA have shown him a lot of love this season given him a one to watch given him several special items as well we could potentially have an 87 rated item on our hands he got two goals in a 3-2 win which doesn't really tell the whole story he came off the bench to score those two goals and the final goal came in the 90 plus third minute for Dortmund to win it three goals to two so I would say yes he deserves it but because he's only sort of recently been given an inform I'm not too sure now I have the one to watch so I'm not being biased here I want this inform I'm just not quite sure whether he'll get it and that draws a close to week 26 of the Team of the Week predictions. As I said at the start of the video, we will not be back next Sunday or the Sunday after. Uh, but it will be back the Sunday after that, which is the 1st of April for Team of the Week predictions week 29. I do apologise that you won't get to uh, find out sort of 
a little bit anyway about who's in form and who's not but I'm sure you'll be able to cope for two weeks and I'll be back if you think I've left anybody out of the video feel free to leave a comment down below smack the like button if you've enjoyed it subscribe to the channel if you're new of course and until the next time goodbye